All right, everyone, and welcome to episode 39 of the 10 Minute Modeling Challenge, also known as the Low Poly Modeling Challenge, near enough, because that's mostly what I do. It seems to be my thing. This time around, I'm going to be modeling boxy little animals. I saw some in the Discord. People had shared some cool screenshots. Uh, a few weeks back, it was, of uh, stuff that they'd modeled. So I got a little bit inspired of that, and I had it nag a little bit on my mind, and I wanted to create a bunch of animals, as many as I can in 10 minutes. So we'll see how many I manage. I have no idea. Maybe five, maybe four maybe seven. Ready, steady, go, and we're off. Yes, we are. Tab into edit mode, front view, S to scale it down, move it up, and then I'll do shift D to duplicate it, scale this one down, move it down, scale it down again, move this to the side. We're going to make some uh, funny looking legs here, so let's do, they're not very realistic. Control R, loop cut that one, E to extrude it, L, move it to there, shift D, so this is going to be the template animal. L, shift D, S to scale this one. Maybe we'll move this one forward. L, scale it up to here. Shift D to duplicate it. S to scale it down. Move it, move it. Shift D, move it up. S to scale it. Move it here. <laughs> S to scale that one down again. And then uh, L, select the link. Shift D, scale. Move it up to here. Scale it there. And then ear, template ear. Scale, scale Y. Scale it down, move it. I'm going to apply the mirror modifier in a second here. It's just a little bit easier to do these uh, like this first. And then uh, L, Shift D, duplicate, S to scale, scale it down, maybe move this one down. So this is my first animal, the little template animal. I'll select everything, make it white maybe. L, L, make these black. And then now I'm going to do edit, apply modifier 839. So that's our first animal. Now I'll uh, Shift D. X minus two, oh, minus two. And then shift R a bunch of times. We'll see how many animals I can do. Oh, that's a bit um, over ambitious, maybe. This one, tab into edit mode, and then let's do, uh, you have to guess the animals, I guess. That's the beauty thing. I don't even have to name the animals, do I? And I, it's a little bit simpler to get away with it. No one knows what animals it is. So L, scale that one down, move it. And then here we can go uh, L, delete that one. L, shift D, move it, scale, Z, scale it down. Move that one to there, disappeared, <laughs> move it out. And then L on this one, scale, Z, L, L, okay, up to here. And let's do A, select everything, get this one here. Oh, actually then resized it, so pink. Okay, that's it. Next one, let's do tab into edit mode on this one. Let's do L, delete that foot altogether or leg. Move this one in, move this one back, and then do uh, delete the ear, delete, and delete the nose, delete. Flatten this thing a lot. L, move it up to there. L, move this one down. And then here, L, select, move down, scale, Y, down to here. And then do A, select everything, make it yellow, but this one and this one I want to make orange. And then we can scale this whole thing down. S to scale it. Control A, apply the scale. Next animal. Let's go uh, here. We'll do uh, move this one. Actually, this one will scale up. Control A. Oh, that's too much. Scale up. Control A, apply it. We'll do tab into edit mode. L. L. Oh. Oh, I'm the wrong animal. <laughs> L, 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 L. Here, move it to there. And then do uh, L, scale it down, R to rotate. Here, maybe we can do L to delete that one. L, get an I, shift D, move it forward, scale it down, move it to there. Okay, and there we go. And then uh, this is going to be quite simple because it's nearly the same, I think. So control R, let's loop cut that on a few times and get some colors there, black. And then uh, 558, let's move to the next animal. So here, let's do uh, tab into edit mode A, select everything, make it a bit orange. And then here I'll do uh, move this one up, I think. Uh, L to select the link, shift D, scale. Z, scale it down to there, move it a bit wider maybe, control R, let's do more, 
uh, loop select those G make that one black maybe a white chest here and then here we can do L shift D move it forward scale it down scale Z G and make that white okay L scale those down R to rotate there next one let's do uh, a, select everything, make it uh, green, or the white stuff goes green. Then L, L, move the legs out. L, move to li link that one, and L to select link there. Go L here for the body. Scale Z, scale it down. Scale Y. Okay, that's it. And then here, head, select, press L on all of these. Move it there. And then here we can uh, flatten this to there. L scale Z, scale Y, scale Z again. <laughs> Shift D, duplicate that one. L to select that, delete. L to select the I, move it down to here. Shift D, make small things here as well. Nostrils, and then maybe they have small ears as well. I don't even know if they do. This one does. And then here we've got four minutes to go. So, ah, uh, here, fly. There's an annoying fly here. That's uh, gonna annoy me. <laughs> Move that one back. So, they have, all have to be boxes here. That's the that's the deal. So, I can't uh, change the shape here. That'll make it simpler. There we go. Then here, let's go uh, scale this one up. A, select everything. Make that gray. L to select the link to shift B. Scale that one down. Scale the X. Move it down and they don't have a nose today so <laughs> l delete and then these we can do uh, a bit thinner like that and then big ears so 323 to go scale move it down r to rotate r to rotate again g okay that one's done <laughs> next one tab into edit mode let's do uh, l l l l Okay, L, 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 L. Move this up to there. Make long legs here. L, scale this down a bit to there. And then here, L, 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 L. Scale that down a lot. Oh, I have to reposition this into place. <laughs> L, Shift D, S to scale it. Move it up, scale it again a lot. L. Scale Z. Scale it up a bit. Okay. And then we have to fix this detachment issue that this uh, thing has got here. Sorry about that. And here, L. And L. <laughs> Rotate G. Uh, tab. Let's get everything here. Make it a bit of this color. Control R. Loop cut it. Control R again. <laughs> loop cut. Let's just get some random faces here so we've got two minutes to go maybe like this g make it brown Control r Control r let's get some stuff here as well and g make that one brown okay another animal so i have to run out of scroll field delete here but let's just make something uh i haven't done a brown animal nearly have i so let's just do something brown here and then L. So you get to pick what this animal is. Uh, so that's the beauty thing. Like this could be anything. There we go. I've got one minute to go, so I'll make uh, one more animal here. I can do. Uh, maybe I'll do. What should I do? I'm running out of ideas here. <laughs> scale that one up. Move it back. Okay. Scale. Let's see. L, move it here. Scale, okay, scale Z. Oh, at the L, scale Z. Let's do L, 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 scale this down. Move it up to here. <laughs> ah, how am I doing? 45 seconds. L. What is this even? I don't even know what type of animal this is. It was supposed to be a bunny, maybe. Scale. Do they have four legs? Yeah, I think they do. Scale. 
I'll scale to there. Oh, this one is the touch. The touch, the touched. There we go. 22 seconds to go. So I don't know what animal that is. Let's do L, Shift D. I've got 10 seconds to go. Scale it down, make it pink. These I'll have to remove because I don't want to have time to do this. So I think that's it. We've got times up, my friends. So how many did we do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten animals in ten minutes. So it's pretty equal to the cars. I'm uh, okay with that. Ten animals in ten minutes. Well, they're quite boxy, I guess. But nevertheless, it's ten animals in ten minutes. I have no idea. Let's see if we can name these. Is it a polar bear or is it a dog? I think it's a dog. This is uh, a pig. And then we've got a, uh, I was going to say duck, but it's a chicken. Here's a cow, tiger, crocodile, elephant, giraffe. Maybe a longer neck would have been good. What is this? A beaver? No. If someone can tell me what animal that is, let me know. And a bunny. A big bunny. A massive bunny. It's the same size as the elephant. Okay, we can uh, maybe move them just a little bit closer. So shift space and G to get this little move tool up so we can bunch them together. Let's move them. All right, I just spotted an error here. So uh, it's a fail after all, but I'll uh, give myself a break. The tail here is in the air. So I'll uh, just move that one down and pretend it didn't happen. You've got no proof. Well, you do actually, because the whole video is there. One of the benefits when you start with one object and duplicate it into a bunch of templates and then you just modify each template from there. The beautiful thing there is that you get to keep a very similar style throughout your objects. I did the same thing for the 10 cars in 10 minutes and it's the same thing for these animals. You get a very similar style so that it'll be a, a very generic look and feel that will fit all the animals together. Instead of starting over for each animal then you might end up uh, having them look a little bit too different. I don't know. Let's, uh, for the bonus material, uh, let's uh, rig this one because it's going to be very different from the rigging that we do with uh, the other characters. And for that, let's go to front view, shift A and do uh, add armature. Let's go to this little tab here and do viewport display and then do in front. And then uh, let's go tab into edit mode, select that bone. Go to side view, three on the keypad, R to rotate it. Hold the control key to snap it when you rotate. It's pretty neat. S to scale it. And it's on purpose that the legs are detached here. I wanted them to be detached from the body when you animate in particular. Since we're not going to be warping the mesh itself, I wanted them to be detached. So we can shift D to duplicate that bone. S to scale it down. There we have our head. I'm not going to do the tail, but I will do the legs here. So I'll do shift D to duplicate. R to rotate with the control key to snap it. S to scale this bone down. So there, shift D to duplicate that one, and then shift space G to get this uh, little move tool. So I can slide it on the axis here. And then we have to select these two and move them out to the, then we'll go to front view, which is one on the keypad, move it to there. And here, let's do F2 and name this root. F2, name it head. So this is gonna be a very, very simple rig now. F2, front leg, and this is still important, dot L. So we're going to symmetrize this. F2, back leg dot L. I'm not going to animate the tail now, but you can do that as well if you want to have a bone there. So A to select all the bones. F3 and type symmetrize. And then that symmetrizes this uh, armature. So this bone is automatically named, if you select it on here, it's named uh, front leg dot R instead. And we need to connect these bones as well. So this one, I'll, uh, I should have done that before, but never mind. So control P I do, control P, keep offset, control shift, select that one, control P, select this one, shift, select the, this one, control P. And then here as well, we need to do, hold, select the head one, shift, select the root bone, control P, and then keep offset. But if I do control tab and go to post mode now, I can animate this, but uh, nothing happens. And it's because um, we have to, uh, assign it as well. So I, I click on the mesh here, the animal, shift select the armature, control P, and 
We're gonna do armature deform with empty groups now. So we're not gonna do the automatic weights like we normally do. We'll do with empty groups. And still nothing would happen if I tried to animate this one, but what did happen is that it parented the, this animal here to uh, the cube, <laughs> cube animal, to the armature, and it created these vertex groups here. And now we have to manually assign these. So if I go tab into edit mode on this uh, mesh, the animal itself, press L here, and then we assign this one to front leg dot L, assign. Here, press L, back leg dot L, we'll press assign. Well, let's do all the legs first here. L on, okay, this one is not needed because we've got mirror modifier, so we're okay. L to select the body and we'll select the tail as well here and assign this one to root. And then we'll do L, 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 L for all everything on the head here and assign this one to the head. Now, if I tab out of edit mode, select the uh, armature control tab into post mode. Now, when we animate these, the legs will uh, follow. Let's see, R to rotate. Okay, we've got some issue here. Okay, I've got some issue here. I'm not sure what this is yet. Let's try to fix this. I select the mesh here. I'll press tab L to select all of these. So all of these uh, are selected now. Let's move them first of all. Yeah, that's everything. Now I go to uh, vertex, vertex groups, remove from all, and then let's assign it to the head again. Not sure that will fix it. Control tab, object mode, select this one, control tab, R to rotate. That fixed it. So for some reason I had attached uh, some vertices to the head, but now we're okay. And here, that rotates the whole animal. Here, rotate the leg. Okay, we've got some issue here with the tail as well. I have to fix that one as well. Control tab, object mode. Select the mesh, tab, L, L for the body. Let's do the whole body here. We do the same thing here. Vertex, vertex groups, remove from all. And then select the root here and assign. Hopefully that should work. Let's try it. Control tab into post mode. R to rotate, R to rotate, R to rotate, R to rotate. That works. This rotates the whole animal, and then the head rotates there. And then you could hide the armature there. So that's how you rig this one, and then you could animate a little uh, simple uh, run cycle, or a walk cycle, or a little sitting, or jumping, things like that. Just used one, two, three, four, five, six bones. So one for the body, one for the head and four for the legs, one each. So that's gonna be it. That, that's the week, that's the challenge. Next week, my friends, it's gonna be episode 40 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. So I've apparently been doing this then for 40 consecutive weeks. Surprises everyone, including me. But I'm really happy to have you with me and I hope you join me back then in the next week for uh, the next episode of the 10 minute modeling challenge. Until then, have a great one and I'll see you soon again. Bye for now.